What have we got going on? We have uh, got Luna, um, who is excited. Yep. Hello, mate. I'm Ed. Right, James. Let's see. Nice to meet you, James. <laughs> Luna looks like a bear of hell. Yeah. So, um, main things with Luna is recall. She can be quite reactive with other dogs, but that's because she's been attacked twice. Uh huh. Um, and um, walking on a lead is stressful. Okay. What we'll do is we'll start with the lead walking. <laughs> Scatty dog. <laughs> oh, hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so does she do this a lot, this spinning? This spinning always. If she doesn't get her way. Oh, you tangled your lead up already. I know. So let's just take a stroll down here. So she's not always as bad as no. this. <laughs> so this spinning is very much anxiety. This is, is it? Yeah. Well, we, we kind of put it down that there's a lot of anxiety in her. Yeah, this is <clears throat> very restless. How much exercise does she get? Probably not enough, which is, we know for a while, is the first bit. She's really good in the crate. She's always been in the crate. She takes herself off to the crate. Um, as I said, in the house, she's really good. Yep. Oh. Yeah, it's just when we're out and about. And I think she used to get off the lead all the time. Yeah. Um, but since she's been attacked and I don't have that control over her against other dogs. Come closer a little bit. We'll put that back and bring Balto out. Does she mix with other dogs, play with other dogs <coughs> at all? Not since the pandemic. No. Um, and then it kind of all went out the window and then she got attacked once. Then it took a long time so to try when, and... When she got attacked, what happened there? So, was she on the lead? She was the on the lead. Over? Both okay. times she's on the lead. It's out of order. Every Everything time something is... comes out, she spins around. Yeah. It's almost... So, <coughs> it's actually what she does to gain a little bit of confidence mm -hmm. in a sense. So, it's almost like she's like, I'm going to do it. Okay. Yeah. So every time a new thing comes in, she starts mm -hmm. spinning around. Come closer. So a little bit more unsure. So definitely size. <coughs> so there was a different response there. So mm -hmm. when Bella came out, a little white dog, she was more bouncy, almost initiating play there she, now she's curious because nothing's happening yeah but she was very much more tense when mm -hmm. auto come out so let's just just walk her up to where that bench is to stand on the gravel and then come back then come back this way for me please So, she's not, she is pulling, but she's not pulling as bad. It's tight the entire time, so mm -hmm. it's, it's uncomfortable. The whole mm -hmm. time she's out, it's uncomfortable. While she's on that head collar, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. She doesn't know how to turn that pressure off. So although she's not pulling the same way, if you put her on the collar, she's probably much worse. Yeah, she, it sounds yeah, like yeah, she's yeah. going to strangle herself. Yeah. Uh, but on, on the figure of eight, she's not pulling as much, mm -hmm. but she's still pulling. The only reason she's not pulling as much is because it's really uncomfortable yeah. for her. The problem is she doesn't really know how to stop that uncomfortableness. Do you mind mm -hmm. if I just take yeah, the yeah. lead for a second? Come here, darling. So I want to see if we can turn it off. The idea is it's meant to be nice and relaxed. <coughs> Pressure. Up, oh, relax. She's so used to pulling into this now. So 
So every time she pulls, I'm trying to turn that pressure off so it goes loose. Mm -hmm. The idea is when you're walking a dog, your arms are meant to be here by your side. The lead's meant to be short, but no tension. Tension's meant to be a form of communication. Like now, a little bit of tension, bring her back, turn that tension off. Mm -hmm. So when she's where she should be, there's no tension. I'm only applying tension when she starts to go rogue. So what I'm saying is that you can sniff around, but be aware of the end of the lead. Actually trying to teach her a little bit about what the end of the lead means, because mm -hmm. she's quite conditioned just to pull into it. And what, what's going to happen naturally is she's just going to stay a little bit closer to us versus her mind being over there. Her mind, as I said, is a very active mind. Mm -hmm. It's very much all over the place. So the more I can let her sniff but at her, her pace, at a pace that's healthy, the more she can relax. When she goes rogue like this, if I keep moving forward, then she gets faster and faster and faster. We go back to that active mind. Mm -hmm. Not free. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not end up? You must have like thick skin. Me? Yeah. Oh, what, from the lead? Yeah. 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 That, 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 that one's what I call Bernie. Very yeah. Bernie. Yeah, you tend to get callousy hands. <laughs> yeah. I've got sensitive hands. <laughs> Yeah, when she did that, I was like, buddies! Just not everyone is as sensitive as you, Adam. No, I'm a sensitive guy. You've, uh, you've had it too easy, mate. It's called moisturising. <laughs> to be fair, that's something that I actually suck at. Looking after yourself or...? Moisturising. So slip collars is the best thing for her, Not then. necessarily, I'm just... Because I've tried harnesses, I've tried the halties round her yeah. face. It, it might not necessarily be the best tool. Basically, what we're doing is I'm just trying to get her just to calm down, just get a little bit comfortable with where she is. And the whole time I'm just looking to see what works for her without putting too much pressure on mm -hmm. her. So it's a bit like reverse psychology. Whilst giving her a little bit of freedom, I'm sort of playing around without her realising just to get a feel for what's going to work. Because she's got such a scatty brain, and because I'm a complete stranger, if I just go straight into sit, down, come, mm -hmm. all that, she's away with the fairies. It's mm -hmm. going to be much more difficult. So I'm kind of just giving her a little bit and just seeing what's working. So, but I am teaching her the concept of pressure and release because if we do change the tool, this bit that we're doing, isn't going to be foreign to her. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching her that she can sniff and she can explore, but to do it with us, not against us. I'm trying to keep her within my bubble, which is something that obviously when you start to let her off lead and things, she doesn't stay within the bubble. She's here, there and everywhere. The same way we see that she tries to behave sometimes when she's on the lead. Do you see how the two can overlap? Mm -hmm. So if her mind is here, there and everywhere, when I'm attached to her on this short lead, it's going to be here, there and everywhere if she's not on a lead at all. So what I'm trying to do is give her some freedom, but teach her to stay in my bubble, mm -hmm. stay close to us. And when she goes rogue, what I'm doing is applying a little bit of pressure and bringing her back, but without her actually realising, per se, what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I've not asked her anything, it's just I'm teaching her to stay with me. And so you're, stay. Not, you're not pulling back or anything like that on the lead? No, if, if she puts tension on that lead, for example, like if we go towards Ben and that lead goes tight, she's not putting much pressure on that lead at the mm -hmm. minute now because she's like the lead's tight now. All I'm doing is applying a little bit of pressure to turn it off. Mm -hmm. Like I said, she's so used to whatever she's on, a harness, a collar, the figure of eight, mm -hmm. the haughty, pulling, and no matter whether it's comfortable on the harness or uncomfortable on the figure of eight, she has learned to get to where I want to be, I have to be very mm -hmm. adrenalized and pull. Because tension to her means we keep moving. Mm -hmm. She doesn't understand tension means stop, come this way, slow down. 